Welcome to this video about the first steps with Humanoid Control. In this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare your avatar, how to set it up with Humanoid Control and use it with virtual reality. And finally, I'm going to show you how to use controller input to control your avatar in your virtual environment. Before we can use the avatar in Humanoid Control, we have to make sure that the animation type is set correctly. So for, humanoid, for uh, Robot Kyle, we are going to check the FBX we are using. And in the inspector, you will find the model and the rig tab. And we're looking at the rig type and the animation type. For Robot Kyle, this is set by default for legacy. So for all avatars, this needs to be set to humanoid because then humanoid control can uh, identify all the bones in the avatar. So we click up apply and now everything is set for humanoid control to use this avatar. The best way to set up an avatar with humanoid control is to start with an empty game object. So we create an empty game object in our clean scene and I will call it humanoid. For the convenience, I will place it at 000. And to this empty game object, we will add the humanoid control script. You will see that the humanoid control script will show you that it doesn't detect any avatar because we didn't add, add one to that. So now we can take our robot Kyle avatar and just drop it onto this new game object. And you will see that it will become a child object of our humanoid and the warning message is disappeared. So now basically humanoid control is already taking control of this avatar. If we step, start the scene now, you will see that we can we are able to change the position of the avatar quite easily. So, for example, when you go to the humanoid control script and you look at the targets, you can, for example, take the hips, double click on it, and then we can move the avatar around by just moving the hips around. And this is all nice, but everybody wants to use your virtual reality, of course, with humanoid control. So to enable that, you go back to the humanoid and the humanoid control script, and you will find with the input section, the Unity XR option. So when you uh, enable this, then all Unity XR devices like Oculus or Steam VR are supported from uh, directly. So now when I start the same scene again, and I'm wearing my Oculus headset right now, you will see that I'm actually able to control this avatar just with our headset. Although I can use my controllers to move my body around, you can see that although I'm pressing any buttons, my fingers don't move because we don't have a mapping between the controller input and the hands yet. The easiest way to, uh, to make this work is to add a, control, a component called controller input. So this will actually by default enable finger movement. So this is a default mapping from the buttons on your controllers to the movements of the fingers of your avatar. So when I press play again, you will now see that I actually can use different poses by pressing the different buttons on my controllers. But this controller input can do more. For example, you can walk around with a thumbstick input. So when we go to the left controller in the controller input, you have the stick vertical and horizontal, which we are going to use to walk around. So these are actually can be able to call all kinds of scripts. You will see this more often in humanoid control, but now we are going to use to control the humanoid's position. So we want to continuously update the position of the, of the avatar based on the input of the thumbstick. So that's the event as the type is continuous. Then we're going to change the avatar of the humanoid. So we're going to use humanoid control to move the avatar around. And then we can call all kinds of methods on the avatar. So instead we can go to the game object transform, but we're going to use a function from humanoid control called move, move forward. And that takes one a single or a float value. And this float value will be taken from the event, which is the thumbstick input. So this will map 
the vertical position of the sta uh, stick to the forward uh, movements of the avatar. In the same way, we can also do striving or sidewalking. So we do that continuously and we go change the humanoid game object, go to humanoid control and you find the move sideward input. And with these two settings uh, set, you will see that I can actually use my left thumbstick to walk around with my avatar. So this concludes the first steps with humanoid control. If you want to know more about humanoid control, you can watch any of other video I've made or go to the documentation. You can easily access the documentation for, for every component by just pre pressing the uh, little question mark icon here on the right. And then you can watch everything about uh, the use of components and also calling the functions like the uh, move forward and move sideward functions we have used in this, uh, in this video. So uh, thank you for the attention and see you next time.